Yo, what's up guys? It's Jack, back here for another video, you know what time it is, and um, today, man, we're going to be talking about Kenny Galladay, and what I really think is the ceiling, and how I think he'll do this season. Now, right before we get into this video, make sure you guys go smash that sub button, man. Um, we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers, uh, we just hit 1k, thank you guys so much, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video, and my my take on Kenny Galladay and what I really feel like he's going to do this year. Personally, I have him on my fantasy team, so I hope he has a good year, but this is my honest opinion of what I really feel like he's going to do this year. So yeah, guys, without further ado, make sure you guys, again, smash that sub button, and yeah, man, let's get right into the video. Baby, yeah, you know I'm in my bow today. Hit a bitch, told her come through on a Saturday. Run it up, run it up, baby, out of fast away. Grain is coming patient, so you know that I had a way. Ooh, -wee. baby, yeah, you know what you do to me. And you know, bitch, I'm okay, guys. So, Kenny, 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 Kenny Galladay, man. Um, so recently he has just gotten hurt. In training camp is really disappointing and he's been marked as doubtful he's been moved from questionable to now doubtful for week one which isn't the end of the world for the Lions because they still have Marvin Jones he's gonna get a lot of the load especially um, for uh, wide receiver two in that offense but I feel like <clears throat> Kenny is definitely the number one guy and he's definitely gonna take a lot of the load that season and I feel like he has a dang good quarterback thrown to him. So, um, it's it's really, um, it, this this season's going to come down to a lot of things. How Matt Patricia really uses him in that offense. How good Stafford is. And honestly, the health of Kenny Galladay. I mean, if you really want to think about it, let's, let's really hope and pray that this injury really doesn't affect him through the course of the coming months. I mean... You don't really know what this injury is and how significant it is. We only have the information that they're giving us, to be honest. And we don't know if he's still going to have lingering pain, if he's going to um, try to play through things. You don't really know. And plus, it's Detroit. Detroit is pretty much a dump dumpster fire throughout the NFL. So I really feel like Detroit is going to tr probably try to rush him back and just do a lot of different things. I'm not really that confident in him week playing week one, but who knows uh, if this is going to be a lingering issue. So, um, I really feel like Kenny Galladay fits into this system pretty well. I mean, I feel like Matthew Stafford has the arm and the arm talent to get Kenny Galladay the ball and get him good balls, throw him very decent balls. Uh, Matthew Stafford is actually having a pretty decent year last year and he was actually on the course of an MVP season so personally I love Kenny Galladay I feel like he's such a great receiver he's so underrated he really burst out into the scene last year and he really had a great year and I'm really excited for what he's going to do in 2020 let's just hope this injury isn't that huge also um I feel like Matthew Stafford really helps Kenny Galladay and what they're trying to accomplish on offense. I mean, if you really think about it, Kenny Galladay is a special, special, special talent. And uh, Matthew Stafford loves spe playing with special talents, and he, especially guys like Calvin Johnson. I mean, he really elevated Matthew Stafford, and Matthew Stafford actually really elevated uh, Calvin Johnson. So having those type of guys around, uh, Matthew Stafford really benefits the both of them and I'm really excited for what they're going to do this year now whether that translates to actual wins and uh, team success who knows I'm, I'm really not sure about this defense it's basically like a copy and paste B team of the Patriots because they just signed Jamie Collins they just got Jeff Okuda uh, different guys from the pa Patriots man and I'm really interested to see what they have Especially with Matt Patricia, a former Patriots defensive coordinator. I'm really curious. But as far as translating the wins, I'm really I really wonder how much zone and how much the other uh, opposing teams are actually gonna play the pass because their running game is at right now, as of right now, um in August. I'm, I'm sorry, in September, actually pretty questionable because they do have DeAndre Swift and they do have Carry On Johnson, but we have not seen 
what they could really do and especially uh deandre hopkins we don't really know what he's capable of yet in the nfl but he seems to have a really high ceiling so let's just stay positive but i feel like his ceiling especially for fantasy wise um kenny galladay should definitely be taken in the third third fourth round i feel like that's his um is this his goal i feel like his ceiling is definitely um top 10 uh w wr1 potential i mean i feel like he's definitely going to have that type of potential but his floor is extremely low because he is a risk taker and i don't feel like his injuries will hurt him that much but we're just gonna have to see it because he does have a pretty low floor i'm not gonna lie um so that leads me to the question is kenny galladay a surefire um top 10 wide receiver in the nfl i'm not really sure if he's a top 10 wide receiver in the nfl but 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 um i would say this he does have the potential to be a top five yes you heard me top five guy in the nfl um his route running is really good he's notably fast he's not the fastest but he gets the job done in speed in the speed category but guy this this guy has size he has the probably one of the most best upside in size i've seen in a pretty long time it's really going to be interesting on how they use him in that category also um his leap ability and his aggressive catch ability is going to be insane out of this world i'm really excited for it and i'm really excited for what he can produce in this offense if you really think about it matthew matthew um stafford really loves throwing those uh deep 50 50 balls i feel like kenny galladay would come up with a lot of those um especially if you give him the chance and i feel like they could also build this uh great bond that him and calvin used to capture and maybe it's not too far off to say that is kenny galladay the next calvin johnson i mean don't don't let me jump the gun here but I'm, I'm really excited to what he could do in this offense um we're just gonna have to honestly just see and i feel like the best is yet to come for uh kenny galladay the best is yet to come definitely and um kenny is a very special guy i i love Ken me some kenny galladay honestly um and yeah i'm really at crossroads with what his future is in detroit i don't really know how long he will be with the lions because i'm not really sure on his contract situation but man matt patricia he is definitely on the hot seat and i feel like this is a make or break year for the lions and if they do not perform which doesn't look like they will um if they don't perform this season they're definitely blowing everything up that means new quarterback rookie quarterback that means new coach young offensive minded head coach uh that means trying to get a new defense um who knows what the future is for kenny galladay because if they blow everything up if they blow the entire roster up man i'm really scared for his future whether it's on a tanking team wasting his prime years on a tanking team or if they're smart trade him while he's in his prime for either assets in the draft or you can trade him for young great players something like maybe a, um how the pittsburgh steelers got a young mika fitzpatrick and turned him to an absolute star so i'm really curious on what you guys think about kenny galladay make sure you guys let me know in the comments i'm really curious um i feel like he definitely has top 10 wide receiver um, potential in both fantasy and just regular NFL but I mean it's all up to what he does on the field honestly and when he can be on the field remember uh, the best availability is definitely uh, I'm sorry the best ability is availability sorry on that but he is definitely going to be a special talent in the NFL hands down so excited for what Kelly Gallagher is going to do and yeah that pretty much wraps it up for this video make sure you guys go smash that like button again um make sure uh you guys it really it really helps okay and i really it will really help you guys smash that like button so yeah man uh, make sure you guys have a great day and yeah man it's jack Last
stuff Baby, yeah, you know I'm in my body today Hit that bitch, told her come through on a Saturday Run it up, run it up, baby, you the fast away Greatness come with patience, so you know that I had a way Ooh, wee, baby, yeah, you know what you do to me And you know, bitch, I ain't with that foolery Team following it, so you gon' lose to me, yeah, lose to me I'm in the store, I'm working, and bitch, I am back in my Birkin. All the guys, I'm swerving, and these people be plotting and murking.